growth opportunities, emerging technologies, new business models, and companies to action across all industries. Frost & Sullivan. There are a lot of competition in this space, especially at the SOC level. So what's the differenti differentiating factor and what else could be brought to the table here? So we are not uh, building hardware, we're yes. only building software. Uh, so we run on all the uh, SOCs that you can find today on uh, the automotive market. We have a um, Karma Rivero that uh, we've modified uh, to include our latest uh, digital uh, consolidated cockpit. Uh, we're showing uh, a digital cluster, uh, IVI and uh, climate control uh, systems all running on the same uh, SOC. Uh, using our hypervisor technology. Uh, we think that uh, most of uh, the cars moving forward will have gateways to prevent rogue access to the CAN bus or the Ethernet uh, network, uh, so prevent um, uh, cybersecurity attacks. How do you see the software-defined nature of the uh, industry, right? So you said system on chip that's going on. So how do you see this progressing for the next two, five, and the next ten years? So the, we know that the car architecture is changing completely. Uh, from uh, we have here an Audi Q8, so it's probably 150 ECUs right now. Uh, we know that uh, manufacturers are thinking like you that uh, it's probably crazy to have so many ECUs. Um, and because of the electrification of the car, uh, what we're seeing is that uh, we're going to create domain controllers, very large, 64-bit uh, computers. Uh, that will centralize all the different sensors, all the different uh, engine controls and chassis controls and cockpit controls into domain controllers. This is also important because this is the trend that we're seeing for um, autonomous driving. Well, you need to be able to centralize all these different sensors, gather all the data in one system um, and uh, to be able to um, implement an algorithm and, and control the car properly. One of the differentiations between uh, QNX, BlackBerry QNX, and uh, our competitors is that QNX is um, ISO 262 ACLD certified, and with the pedigree of BlackBerry, we have a very good um, um, uh, story uh, with, uh, for the security in the car. Anything about Jarvis? Yes, so uh, Jarvis was developed initially for use internally at BlackBerry. Uh, what Jarvis is, is a binary uh, scanner that will give you a posture, a security posture of your binary. So we've uh, decided to productize Jarvis to look at uh, the security posture by simply looking at the binary. So this is extremely important, uh, like I said, for uh, tier ones and OEMs that do not have source code for everything that they're integrating into the car, but still want to see if their car is vulnerable. Finally, Victor, what is the one challenge that you see uh, with respect to software different cars going forward? The challenge is going to be to be able to secure the cars um, uh, from applications being integrated into the car from your cell phone or whatever that may not have been developed with automotive in mind may not be completely secure but you need to isolate them and secure them to avoid uh, uh, somebody taking control over your car while you're driving uh, but we think we are in a very good position uh, with our pedi security pedigree and safety pedigree to um, um, meet those challenges.